Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to another episode of what was on sale at the grocery store. Uh, a little while ago, whole chickens were on sale, and so I bought a bunch of them. This one I've cut up already, and so I've got two leg quarters here. The white half of the chicken is in the freezer. I'll cook that sometime in the future. But buying whole chickens um, is a really inexpensive way to, to get chicken. It's often so much cheaper. And I don't think of the bones as waste because I use them to make chicken stock. And we're going to use some of that chicken stock later on in this recipe. So starting out a little salt and pepper on the chicken. And while I'm putting salt and pepper on the chicken, I am also heating up the pan on the stovetop. Both sides, always both sides. Okay, the pan is heating up, so I've got some butter. I'm gonna put that in and let it melt. Um, I'm using butter today. On any given day, I could be using any one of a number of different types of oil, um, even bacon fat. Bacon fat with a chicken dish is actually really good. And I've got the, uh, the pan on sort of a medium heat. Um, there are a bunch of different theories around browning chicken. And I don't, uh, I don't think that any one of them is any better than the other, but some people think you get a ripping hot pan, you put the chicken in, you get a sear right off the top and you get some nice browning and you build some flavors. In older French cookbooks, and when I say older French cookbooks, 1700s, 1800s, there is a method whereby the butter goes in the pan, the chicken goes in a pan, on a cold pan, then you put it on the heat and you never actually bring the heat up too high and you just let it go for a very long time. Um, and I've done that method. It's time consuming. Um, you get a lot of negative comments in the comment section down below from people saying you don't know what you're doing. Um, but you get an amazing browning on the chicken. Uh, you should give it a try sometime. Anyway, I think I've got the pan to the point where I'm going to be happy. I guess a lot of what I'm saying is there are multiple methods to get to the same spot. And uh, a lot of people that are telling you you're doing it wrong are just wrong. Okay, here we go. Medium low fire. A little bit of butter. Look at that browning. Okay, so we'll just uh, brown up the other side and even hold it so that we brown it all the way around. Okay, so it's one of those days I just took the chicken out of the pan and I talked about how I had it on just a medium heat. The stove top was at four. My stove top goes to nine, so just a little less than half. And I've got some really good browning and some great skin on this chicken. It just takes a little more time. You just have to have some patience. That built up some incredible flavor in the bottom of the pan between the butter and the browning from the chicken. And I put in some shallots because I really like shallots. Now I haven't raised the temperature at all. I'm just gonna let them cook away in that butter until they're translucent. Um, and I'm still at a low temperature on the, on the cooktop. Someday I'll figure out how to be a YouTuber and will remember to always turn on the camera. It'd be so much easier if I had someone here to help me, but I'm on my own. I'm cooking, shooting, taking care of everything all at once. Next in, some mushrooms, and uh, these, were, these were just the mushrooms that I had left over in the fridge from something else I made. Um, I really like to mix up mushrooms. If I had gone out with the express thought of making this today, I would have bought uh, two or three different kinds of mushrooms, because each one brings a different texture and a different flavor to the dish, and I like that, uh, that contrast of flavors. I am going to turn it up a little bit now because we want to drive off uh, most of the moisture from those mushrooms. Okay, now we're going to build a little sauce. Okay, so this is some chicken stock I made recently. Every time I buy a chicken and I cut it up and I cut out the back or the neck or whatever, put it in the freezer and then I make stock with it. And often when I do this, I will go down to the Blue Sky Market. Um, it's fairly close to us. They always have chicken feet on, on hand. And so I bought some chicken feet to put in and I get this really nice gelatinous broth. Um, 
and it'll just melt in there. Okay, so now we're gonna add into that some mustard. This is regular old Dijon. A little bit of Keen's hot mustard, because you know, nice contrast and flavor, and a scoop of the family honey. Let's get that in there. I'll bring that temperature up a little bit. Mix all of those flavors together. A little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary. Give it another stir. Back in with the chicken thighs or the chicken leg quarters. There we go. Now the oven is set to 425 and I'm gonna put this in until the chicken is cooked through. Uh, keep an eye on it. Add a little more liquid if you need to add more liquid. If the liquid burns off before the chicken is cooked, um, get out your thermometer and check the chicken. Make sure that it's cooked. Now I had the lid on, but I only had the lid on in order to keep it warm for Julie to come home from work. Um, if you're cooking this, don't hey put friends. the lid on. Don't put the lid okay. on in the oven. Hey Jules. Because uh, it doesn't need the lid and you just you don't need the lid unless you're just trying to keep it warm. That's all there was. Yeah, I'm a little bit late today. So happens. Oh, look at that. Well, I like mushrooms. Yeah, okay, so mushrooms and shallots. Ooh, classics. Chicken. We put those uh carrots on that we just did. Okay, let me get a knife, or maybe two knives. I don't yeah, know. I'm gonna dig into the uh, mushrooms without even waiting. Okay, so mushrooms and shallots. So it's mm. a little bit of mustard. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. oh, you're really good. Mmm. The mustard. Okay, so I put in I put in some hot mustard. I'm not getting any heat from the hot mustard. Maybe just a little bit of bitterness. Yeah, that's that bitter note right at the end. So be careful with your mustard. And the chicken, I mean, it's just, let's get some sauce. Mm. That's good. Same, same flavors as the, as the mushrooms, yeah. eat them together. Yeah. This one, this one worked out very nicely. Mm. Hi, chicken. That's really good. I also did these brandy glazed carrots. Um, so you're just gonna. Yeah, someone wants. Some attention? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's an easy one pan meal. Play with your flavors. Uh, try different mustards. Maybe leave the mustard out if you don't like mustard. Try something else. There you go. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.